Hello and welcome to the ACE 3D tutorial showing how to import an ODB++ file and convert directly to STEP. The purpose here is to be able to avoid unnecessary IDF files and to be able to give your mechanical engineer exactly what he needs uh, in order to mold, change, or modify shapes or what the final component will look like. Let me go ahead and illustrate this. First thing I'll do for the import is I'll select the ODB++ for the format. And for export, I'll choose STEP. As you see, there is a wide variety of other 3D formats and other various formats I could choose. I'll navigate, select my ODB++ file. As you see here, you have the option to selectively choose which layers, steps, uh, or anything else that you'd like to modify. Obviously, I'll keep the defaults. I'll go ahead and press Next. As you see here, here are the options for the STEP export. I'll leave all the defaults as it is. And I'll press next. At this point, what you see here is the entire ODB++ file has been imported. For this particular demonstration, what I'd like to do is replace the IDF file, which basically has the board outline and the component configuration as far as the height, shape, uh, everything else necessary so that the mechanical engineer can properly make sure that this design will fit into any enclosures that he has prepared. In this case, I'm going to use a default map setting. What this has done is basically it, I've just checked only the component layers. And I've also placed a dielectric layer in the middle. And these can all be op these widths and thicknesses can all be changed. They're completely up to you, but for this demonstration purpose, we'll just keep it pretty generic. So at this point, all I need to do is press next. And I'll choose PCB is fine for this particular step file. And as you see, the file is converted. Now, what separates ACE3D from any other tools out there is there are a few other translation tools that attempt to do this, but it's kind of messy going from one format to the next format. ACE has everything inside of one product and it's done right. So let's go ahead and view the results inside of Autodesk Inventor. As you see here from the resulting step file, you can see here that ACE has done everything. It's brought in the components. Not only has it just brought in the components, but it includes the outlines. It's generated separate assemblies for the top and bottom. And another nice thing is you're able to get just about a perfect representation of your final board without having the need to look for external step file packages. You pretty much get a 99% appearance of exactly how your finalized board will appear. So that's again what makes this tool so valuable. It's not other translation tools may only bring in boxes only, whereas the actual ACE will bring in the exact component outlines with the heights. So this again is a very nice and useful tool. Thank you.